Let's take a look at another curiously named imported pencil sharpener. sharpener reviews on this channel, you will likely know that I have found a few pencil sharpeners uh, imported from China via AliExpress <clears throat> for next to nothing in terms of cost uh, that I really like, that I think are really well made, um, durable uh, pencil sharpeners that uh, create a point that I really like. Here's a pencil sharpener that has been always at hand, on my desk, ready to be used. The Delhi 0616B. And they have slightly changed this now. It doesn't have the metal teeth. At least the latest one I got did not. So um, have had some success in trying out pencil sharpeners imported, um, purchased through AliExpress for very little money. Uh, so what that does is it encourages me to keep trying, thinking I will find something even more perfect uh, the same way. Which led me to this. Um, AliExpress, a couple of bucks, I don't remember exactly. I will try to provide a link to the actual seller. If I can find it again, they tend to come and go on AliExpress. Uh, as with everything I receive that way, it came in a flimsy plastic bag, uh, no other packaging. So you get some damage on, in the boxes, but usually the contents are intact. And I'm assuming that will be the case again today. I've not yet removed this from the box. So let's do that. Well, let's first look at the name, if we can figure it out. Is that new sign? Also made by Delhi. I assume that's what that says, new sign. There's some uh, options in terms of color. A new colorful product experience, revealing experience, revealing yourself through unique design. <laughs> Terrific. Love it. So made in China, not surprising there. A lot of information that I cannot interpret for you. Uh, okay, so some little indication here that there is a way to set it for different types of points which is a significant departure from the standard point of the 0616b i really love the point this makes so i don't see any need to change it but uh, this does offer some options apparently we'll take a look at that let's see what it looks like Okay, so it's in plastic here. We have instruction sheet. It's unlikely to be helpful to me. I guess I could lens it and interpret it, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Looks like it is not a sum assembly required. Looks like it's fully assembled, which is nice. The plastic is a little bit textured. I wasn't expecting that. Uh-oh, we have a little bit of a... Maybe it was damaged in transit. Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's fine. Nothing to worry about. We'll see if it works. I'm guessing it's uh, it's going to be okay. All right, let's take a look at it. I opted for the green, um, green being my favorite color. So we have this little dial apparently that you turn maybe this. I don't know if there's an indicator on it saying we're okay. I can barely see that which one it's on. So there are five settings if you want a really blunt tip, maybe for colored pencils and then the sharpest. So um, I'm gonna always set it on the sharpest, I guess, and we'll 
try that. We have kind of a textured matte finish here on the face plate. We have what looks like a speaker grill. <laughs> Maybe there's a Bluetooth speaker, who knows? Um, recessed. Oh, I see. That's to push out the shavings tray. All right, and so unlike the other deli, there are no grippers here. The faceplate doesn't extend forward, although it pops out in shipping, apparently. Oh. So I assume it probably has like a rubber rollers or something inside that draws the pencil in, but we'll see how that operates. Um, nice looking sharpener. Uh, it feels like kind of cheap textured ABS plastic there. Let's get right to uh, giving it a try. I have it set on the sharpest setting from what I can see in this horrible lighting condition. And I have a couple of very generic, ubiquitous Faber-Castell American pencils of a certain vintage. Oh, I see one of them is already sharpened. So that one is eliminated from uh, consideration. All right, so let's give it a try on one of these. I guess you just insert it. Try not to jostle the camera too much. I assume you then reverse to eject the pencil. That seems to be the case. Looks like a very nice point on that. Might be a little longer than I get with the older deli. Let's um, just compare. I'll take the same pencil, same type of pencil. We'll put it in my old, old faithful, the claw sharpener. <laughs> has no way to change the settings for a different point. All right, so we've got the claw here versus the new green sharpener. Huh, okay, so we get, I would say a more slender point on the new sharpener but about equal in length in terms of the amount of wood it took from the pencil. Top one is the new sharpener set to the sharpest point. The bottom one is the claw, Old Faithful. I see a difference there. It looks a more slender point, which I rather like on top. Let's try changing the setting to the most dull, the least sharp point. See what difference we find there. Same pencil again, uh, same type of pencil. All right, so if you have a core that's not very well centered, you end up with a poor showing like this. Got to figure out which was which again. Okay, the one on the top. So it's not making a huge change in the length of the point just in the diameter, the angle of the cone there, I guess. Get this really long extended tip here. And 
uh, almost as equally long but thicker point there, which I guess would be ideal for something like colored pencils where they don't have the strength of a graphite core and would break more easily. So this is fine for a harder graphite core. This would be preferable for colored pencil or softer graphite. Very nice. It's bothering me though, the, uh, the wood on that one side from a improperly centered core. So I'm going to put this back on the sharpest point and give this another try and see if we can't finish the job to a more attractive point. Much better. My gestalt is intact and happy. Very nice. Um, yeah, I could see myself using this pretty frequently. I am a creature of habit, so I will never depart from primarily using the claw, even though it leaves metal teeth imprints on the shaft of a pencil as it does violence to it. Uh, this is a nice looking and um, fully functional, even though the faceplate was popping off the sucker when it, uh, when it arrived here. Looks nice, has some flexibility and options. And again, I'll try to put a link to the seller I purchased it from on AliExpress. About a few bucks um, delivered. Takes a few months to get to you that way, but very nice sharpener. I uh, give it a thumbs up. We have the new sign by Delhi. Comes in probably your favorite color too. There was at least red and maybe blue. I don't know. Probably black. But why would you get anything other than green? Look how handsome that looks. Thanks for watching this pencil sharpener review, and I hope to see you here again next time.